We've heard it all too often. We have an active shooter at the high school. Tragedy has struck again, this time at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. On February 14th, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz walked into his former high school and opened fire, killing 17 students and teachers and injuring 14 others. The alleged gunman was captured off campus. He was seen surrounded by police. It's tragedies like these that have us looking at our own city and asking if the schools we're sending our kids to are safe. We have many layers of, of protection. We look at every incident, every terrorism event, every active shooter event. We look at the after action report. We then reflect on our response and our preparedness. We tweak our plans and we constantly drill. We take every threat very serious. We immediately send investigators out on any kind of hint of a threat at one of our schools or anywhere else. One day after the Florida shooting, security footage at a North Philadelphia charter school captured a student attempting to smuggle a gun into the building and failing only because the doors were locked at the time. While gun violence in Philadelphia has recently been on a downward trend, the statistics are still shocking, with a rate of one shooting every six hours. According to the Philadelphia Police Department, the city's 2,629 gunshot fatalities of the last 10 years are enough to fill the Academy of Music. City Council and Philadelphia's police work hand-in-hand to keep Philadelphia's youth safe not just in their schools, but on their streets. We work very closely with the Philadelphia Police Department, who has recently created a gun force, a gun task force, to specifically focus on tracking illegal guns here in the city of Philadelphia. And so I think um, that's progress toward keeping guns out of the hands of young people. We recently introduced legislation to call gun violence a health epidemic here in the city of Philadelphia. And so we can have a comprehensive approach in addressing the issue similar to how we address the opioid crisis. And so we use the Special Committee on Gun Violence as a platform to find different ways to address the issue of youth gun violence, and most importantly, come up with a comprehensive strategy and plan of action to address this issue. We have task force here in Philadelphia comprised of Philadelphia police and FBI agents. We talk all the time. We talk about emerging threats. We, we go over different events that happened. We do like an after action critique. We partner with various social service agencies and make sure that those agencies are working in partnership with the school district to make sure young people are picking up guns and most importantly getting involved in resolving conflicts before they start. We have to be proactive as opposed to being reactive and um, that's one of the things that our committee is focusing on as well. If you invest in young people early on, give them a sense of hope, you will cut off their reasons for them to want to even pick up a gun in the first place. Equally important is knowing how to respond to a situation with an active shooter. Run, hide, fight. First you want to, if you can um, get away from that shooter, you, you do so. If you can't, you hide. And last resort is you fight if you're confronted and you can not hide or, or run. We're all in this together. we got to work together. So, Anything suspicious, we want to know about it and we will run on it. We haven't had that here where we received a tip and, and didn't investigate it. I can tell you that does not happen. We immediately investigate it. It's a priority for us. So here in Philadelphia, dial, dial 911 immediately if, if you see something suspicious or know of something that's suspicious. We have a tip line, 215-686-TIPS. You can also make an online tip through our phillypolice.com. So I think it's tips at phillypolice.com. Tackling the issue of gun violence is no easy task. While lawmakers in Washington figure out what to do, Philadelphia is making strides and taking it one day at a time. Reporting for Philly Cam Voices, I'm Adam Bornstein.